Thanks and welcome to Airability, your regular dose of lead therapy. And today I'm joined by the Chiapa Faz 611 rifle. Now, have you ever heard of it? Well, I didn't until I was browsing the Ratworks website. Now, they have co officially collaborated with Chiapa to enhance what was formerly a six foot pound indoor rifle into this 12 foot pound contender. Before we get into the details of this rifle, why don't we do the walk around? As you can see it's a beautiful rifle and what we will do now is we'll go front to back as I usually do with each rifle and describe its features and talk more about how it works. As you can see at the front I've got a silencer fitted at the moment but this rifle comes with a little muzzle brake uh, which is fitted to the standard half inch UNF um, barrel thread which will take most silencers um, air strippers, barrel weights, etc. So it's a fantastic feature. And that is on the end of a full length match grade Lothar Walther barrel, which is floating to give it that extra accuracy. This version of the gun has had the barrel band removed, like on many Anschutz 9015s. So we've got this beautiful barrel here, and underneath we have a cylinder, which is good for up to 150 sub. 12 foot pound shots now what i will say is at the end is um a quick fill adapter which is very similar to the standard one that ratworks does for other rifles it uses the same probe so for instance i can fill it with the same probe as my hand shots which came in really handy for me and at the end here we've got the gauge um, at the end of the cylinder just the same as many rifles now as we move down here and we go into the block you can see here on the side of the block there's a bit of a giveaway Ratworks have given this gun a tension regulator which is fantastic and this allows the gun to shoot this one that I've got here choose between five and six feet per second total spread using Barracuda FT which is a very consistent um, pellet speed now it is a single shot action Although you can remove the pellet tray and Ratworks do supply a magazine for this gun. The block is quite short and it is, has a side cocking lever here. You just place the pellet on the, on the tray when this is cocked back and the pellet is loaded into the gun with the probe um, just like many other rifles. The block here um, has two attachment points to the stock which enables you to um, have a real secure fit in the stock and as the barrel band etc has been removed there's, there's no movement at all so this comes in really handy um, what I will say is there is a very consistent trigger on this rifle it's a two stage trigger it um, is adjustable for both length of pull and weight at each stage I've got it set so I've got a little bit of a 2mm wiggle 
um, on the on the first stage and a really crisp light release on the second stage. I usually fiddle with um, triggers on um, you know more modestly priced guns like this to enhance them. There's absolutely no need to do that with this trigger. Uh, it was fine out of the box. Now this beautiful action here with the, as I said, tension regulator sits in a, the Ratworks version of this gun has a walnut stock and not a beech stock. And on the bottom of the stock is a standard Anschutz stroke air arms accessory rail. And I've fitted a Picatinny adapter to that rail to enable me to use my bipod while I'm trying this gun out. What I will say is I've already run about um, two tins of pellets through this and I've absolutely loved my time shooting it. So as I say, this walnut stock is lightly finished and oiled. Um, but the good thing about guns that are finished with wax and oil is, the stocks is, if you damage them, you chip them, or you want to adjust them in any way, you can um, make amendments to the stock or repair them and then sand them down and re-oil them. Whereas um, the more expensive stocks that have this kind of automotive clear coat on them can be an absolute nightmare if you ding them. So this is a gun that's built to be used. Now, if we move down the stock here, um, there's a very, very interesting um, trigger guard here. I mean, you know, it's just a nice design. It doesn't really serve any different purpose, but it was a nice design feature on this gun, which I quite like, made it stand out from the crowd. As you can see at the back here, it's totally ambidextrous grip. It's quite a thin grip. It's really co comfortable to use. And moving back here, we have a cheek piece, which is adjustable for height. Um, this ensures that you have a consistent cheek weld and your eye relief remains the same every time you shoot the gun. Now, right at the back here is a standard um, rubber foot pad which is adjustable for height. Now this stock is on the shorter side of, of stocks and Ratworks do supply spaces that go in between the butt plate and the wooden stock to extend it a little bit if you know you do find that you're a, a, a bigger person and need a bigger stock. But for bench rest shooters who do not like to have an awful lot of contact with the with the M stock, I found this to be great because it, it enabled me to float the stock quite easily without having to stretch to see the sight. So yeah, all good. Now, as I said, I've run about two tins of pellets through this gun. I've been shooting my, you know, my standard issue Barracuda FT that I use on the tour, and the accuracy has just got better and better. Now, basically in my um, shed now, and, you know, I shoot through the shed and into the garden, um, just under 25 meters, I'm, and it is quite shielded, I'm getting um, 250s virtually all the time at the moment. I'm trying to improve the X count. Um, I've got 250 and 15 X at the moment. It's the highest one, which is that kind of break point where I think that this gun, you know, is bench rest accurate. price of this gun is amazing. With all the um, Ratworks magic sprinkled on it, it is still only £850. And that is, you know, nearly £500 cheaper than what I would call the current entry level bench rest rifle, the Air Arms HFT500. Now, you can buy a lot for 500 which means that um, with the new rules for uh, world rules bench rest we can now use bipods 
you could buy this rifle, the scope, the mounts, the bipod and a back bag all for the price of just the Air Arms HFT 500. So for me, I think this rifle is really worth looking at deeper to see if I can bench press with it. So in my next video, I'm going to bench press this rifle both off a block on a standard joystick operated bench press and I'm going to try the new style of shooting well new style of shooting the world rules bench rest and I'm going to shoot it off a bipod to see if there's you know a massive difference and what the benefits are anyway guys I'm going to carry on shooting this gun over Christmas and while I've got it I'm going to enjoy it because I haven't had as much fun in ages and that's what living the air gun dream is all about and until next time guys take care bye bye